So as a business owner, I am so excited about ChatGPT and my mind is just exploding thinking of different ideas for how to use it to make my business better, make my business more profitable and make money using ChatGPT. There are a lot of videos on this topic and if you're looking for kind of like a get rich quick scheme or charlatan type stuff, this is probably not the video for you, but these are actionable, actual ways I am using ChatGPT in my business either right now or ways I'm planning to use it in the near future. So I'm going to show you what I'm doing and how to do it. Doesn't matter if you're a one person business or a 1000 plus person business, whether you're a freelancer, content creator, run a services business or a store, restaurant, bar, products business, a software business, ChatGPT can make your business better. Here's how. I'm Mark Lighta from Lighta Law Firm. Let's dive in here. Okay, I've ordered these points from simplest to most complex and sort of outside the box. So I think they're all good suggestions, but make sure to stick around until the end of the video. First, use ChatGPT to create blog content for SEO. So if you're not familiar with SEO, that's search engine optimization, it's just the idea of making sure that your website ranks higher on Google. They say the best place to hide a dead body is on the second page of Google search results I read recently. So business owners everywhere are trying to rank higher on Google and I suppose other search engines as well. Shout out Bing. But Google has their web crawlers going around to all these different websites and trying to imitate human reading behavior. So the more engaging and lengthy your website or blog content is, the longer a human reader would linger on that website and Google gives it a higher ranking. I'm not an SEO expert, so like this video isn't about that, but the idea is that you can use very easily, you can use ChatGPT to create a bunch of high quality content for your website. See, the idea is that ChatGPT is so good and its natural language model is so high quality that it really sounds like a pretty good human writer. And so it will appeal to Google's web crawlers. And by the way, this goes not only for blog content, but also say you're like a dentist, for example, and you wanna describe the different services you provide. This can write good, lengthy, fulsome content or your actual services page on your website or product descriptions, you know, uh, sales copy, they call it, you know, this can go for all of it. It's all really one category, whether it's for your blog or for the actual copy of your website, use chat GPT to help you because there's nothing like the tyranny of the blank page. Well, those days are over because you get a initial draft from ChatGPT and you can revise it to your liking. You can give it feedback and you can improve its responses, but it's so much easier than writing from scratch. So how do you do it? All right, you go to chat.openai.com and you just type in, it's really as simple as talking to someone and delegating a task to them. So I'm a lawyer, I might say something like, Write a 1,000 word blog post about the importance of estate planning for small business owners. This is for the website of Elida Law Firm. Hit enter and watch it produce. It's happening there right in real time. You might see this actual blog post pop up on our Elida Law Firm website, by the way. And then when it's finished, you read it, you revise it, and you can give it feedback. Like, could you say that a little simpler? Could you expand more on point three? Could you simplify point four? Things like that to make your website really have great high quality copy. So so much easier than actual writing. Okay, so that's one. Blog content and other copy for your website to improve SEO. Number two, newsletter writing and email campaigns. So I, for example, do have an email list, but I very rarely send anything out to it, in part because I just don't want to be spammy, but also because uh, it's hard to think of things to write in a newsletter context. So again, open AI kind of, you know, liberates writers from the tyranny of the open page, at least. Let's take it for a spin. Okay, so 
write a 1500 word newsletter for my law firm, Lida Law Firm, describing a few services we provide, business entity formation, commercial litigation, and estate planning. You know, if I wanted to include updates from the past year, I'd just type that in. Make this newsletter New Year's themed, because I might send it out in early January. Let's see what ChatGPT says. Yeah, honestly, you know, legal writing is more my forte than like newsletter writing. This is better than I would have done for a newsletter. So this is another great and easy way to use it to make money for your business. These are a few of the more obvious and simple suggestions. Let's take it one step deeper and more complicated. Let's talk about coding. So I've learned a little bit of code, but you know, I'm not a computer engineer and I'm assuming that you're not also, but if you're running a business, it does really uh, help to be able to either make tech products to help your business run better. If you're a freelancer, you can even make yourself more efficient with things like Google Chrome browser plugin. And you know, if you do have some level of coding experience, you can certainly supplement it with ChatGPT. There are some caveats, you know, there's been some controversy around it giving incorrect coding guidance. And so Stack Overflow banned it at least for a time. So if you're really deep in the weeds about coding, it's kind of similar to if you're a professional writer, you might be able to write better than ChatGPT. I think I could write, for example, a better legal brief than chat GPT but and if you're a professional coder you can probably write better code in some context than chat GPT but it gets you started you can revise it from there and if you're not a professional in the space it can probably do a better job than you'd easily be able to do so let's take it for a spin let's say we're gonna do a Google Chrome plugin that reminds you to take your dog for a walk every two hours so you, your dog is in the house broken or something and you get really focused on work and you want to be reminded to take your dog on a walk every two hours let's try it Okay, so like any computer, you have to be extremely literal in your instructions sometimes. So if you look at this, it gives you not only the code, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions for how to implement the code to create a functioning Chrome plugin. So, you know, low code and no code builders have been really popular lately. I've used some of them myself for sure to build things that we use internally here. And this really takes it to the next level because once you learn code, you can edit this code and all that sort of stuff, but it gives you actual code that you own. You can use this either to make yourself more efficient, to make your business run better, building internal apps and tools for your business. You can even make marketable products using this code, you can sell your Chrome plugin, for example, or other software products that you write using ChatGPT. For more information about who owns the output of ChatGPT responses, check out my video on that topic. Okay, so that's the next level of complexity is how to use it for doing basic coding projects. My fourth suggestion for how to use ChatGPT to make money for your business is to use it to help you with your customer service. The implications of this are amazing. They're incredible. Okay, there are automated chatbots out there, but obviously ChatGPT is a breakthrough in natural language processing and they're completely free and open right now to be able to use for your business. You can plug into the API, so it'll take a little bit of technical knowledge on how to do this and it's kind of beyond the scope of this video of exactly how to do it, but you can actually ask ChatGPT, how do I integrate a uh, chatbot into my website? So here's what you can do. Say you have a WordPress website Website. You can get a plugin that integrates with ChatGPT, follow the instructions on how to integrate ChatGPT with your chatbot, and then you can use it to actually handle your customer service chats for you. You can use it on social channels as well as your actual website. And you have to train it in your specific business so that it is answering questions and dealing with customers in the way that you want it to. So that takes some technical doing, but it is something that can be learned even by non-computer engineers. So that's one level of it. But then the next level, what ChatGPT can do for you when it comes to customer service is it can actually help you gain a lot of insights about your customers and your business. So if you are using ChatGPT as a chatbot, it can aggregate all the responses, aggregate all the customer feedback, customer
customer complaints and give you actionable intelligence on it. It can say, here are the pain points for your customers. And then it can help you create, for example, targeted email campaigns and messaging around how your company is going to address those pain points. So it helps you on the front line of customer service interactions. It helps you analyze the customer service interactions and it helps you address the insights you have gleaned from that analysis. Really amazing how it's kind of like a one-stop shop for customer service improvements in your business. Better customer service means more money for your business. Okay, so those are the first five ways. I've tried to find some of the best five. Uh, there are a lot of other ideas out there, some of which are good, some of which are not so good. I've tried to distill it to my favorite five current uses. But there's a sixth way that I think is a little more outside the box. This isn't necessarily more complex, but it is more outside the box and not something I've heard people talking about. Can you use chat GPT to help you with business coaching? And the answer I believe is yes. So when I'm training lawyers at my firm to develop their own book of business and bring in clients and all that sort of stuff, a big part of what I do is really mindset coaching, helping lawyers get in the right mindset. And that's so important for any business. It's really all about mindset, or at least it starts with mindset. And so can you make your business better by using ChatGPT to help with some of that mindset coaching? Well, let's ask ChatGPT. Let's say something like, I'm feeling discouraged with the current state of my business as a small business entrepreneur. Can you help me? And just read its seemingly empathic response. I mean, you can really read this information and feel encouraged by what it's saying to you. It gives actionable steps. Take a step back to reassess your goals, etc. And so this is just one general question, but you can actually follow up with more specifics about your situation. They can change day by day. And you can have an actual conversation with it because it remembers your responses from earlier in the same chat. I'm not saying that it's a replacement for human business coaches or even therapists any more than it is a replacement for human lawyers at this point, but it is a good way and a good first step to have a check-in to help you get in the right frame of mind for going out and crushing it with your business. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It's well known that a computer can beat a human in chess, but a computer and a human working together and complementing each other's strengths can beat a computer playing alone. And so the real magic of ChatGPT is how we humans will think of creative ways to use it to augment our strengths and our accomplishments. So I want to hear from you. Drop something in the comments below telling me about your business, but also how you are using ChatGPT to make your business better. Let's share with each other. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to click like and subscribe and the notifications bell to get more videos like this. We provide legal education for entrepreneurs and you can certainly expect more videos like this about ChatGPT and other technology to help your business.